Matthew Inman from the Oatmeal here um, at, at the Gnome Dex post party at the uh, Emerald City Trapeze. And uh, we're, we're just going to be talking to Matthew Inman a little bit today. Um, he runs the Oatmeal and uh, super cool. So uh, tell us a little bit about the Oatmeal and what you do to start off with. Sure. So uh, the Oatmeal is a comedy website. It's got comics, quizzes, all kinds of crazy weird stuff. And it's a one-man operation, and uh, it's basically my day job. I just make comics all day. Um, some of them are educational, like uh, when to use an apostrophe. Other ones are not educational at all. Like there's one about a pterodactyl who hits people with a crowbar and just flies around doing terrible things. Um, yeah, and the site's about a year old, and it's my full-time job now. Super cool. So uh, how did you start in uh, technology and web design and everything? Uh, when I was, I think I was 13, we got our first computer, and um, I used it to play games mostly, but I actually got interested in making web pages, and I made web pages uh, from the age of 13 to about 17. So when I got out of high school, I basically knew how to design so I could get a career that way. Um, and it's always been a hobby. I used to be a programmer. I've done a lot of sysadmin stuff. Um, when I was 19, I built a, a framework that allowed commercial airlines to surf the internet using this kind of cached system. It sounds more impressive than it is, but basically I was 19 and I hacked together this cool thing. So I've always kind of been into it. Um, and I, uh, uh, after that, I started getting more into the marketing side, like how to build things for a website that get a lot of attention. And um, eventually, I got sick of working for people. So I was like, I want to make the oatmeal so I can make my own money and not have to like answer to anyone. And uh, so I quit my job and I started the oatmeal. So that's sort of the short version. Really cool. So, uh, what what brought you to Gnomedex today? Uh, actually, I spoke a few days ago at an SMC Seattle event, and I don't speak much. Most people don't even know I'm from Seattle. And um, Chris Perillo saw me speak and said, "Hey, you should come speak at ours." So I thought, "What you know? What the heck? I'll go and do it." So, uh, and I thought it was a PR marketing conference, and I was pleasantly surprised when it was like a, just a big geek mix. I I much prefer that. So. And uh, what what can we expect from you in the future, Matthew? Uh, my book, I have a full book coming out in March, and it's, um, it'll be in Barnes & Noble, Amazon, everywhere. Uh, more comics, obviously. I want to do animated shorts. Um, I just don't know how to animate them, so it's going to be a learning curve because I try to do everything myself. Um, and maybe stand-up comedy, but I kind of feel like my comics do most of the work when I'm on stage. I just point and people laugh. I don't have to really make any jokes. So if I suck at it, I won't do stand-up. If I'm okay at it, maybe I'll stick to it. Cool, so uh, that, that's pretty much it for the interview. Where can people find you online, Matthew? At theoatmeal.com, or if you Google the word oatmeal, I'm actually the number one result, beating out Quaker, beating out all those other uh, imposters. So in Google's eyes, I've become more relevant for the word oatmeal than the, uh, the breakfast food. So that's accomplishment in and of itself. Super cool. Thanks for taking some time to talk to us, Matthew. And uh, I'm assuming people can follow you on Twitter, uh, like at oatmeal, right? Yep. Awesome. Well, thank you. Thanks a lot. Yeah.